My name is Pete Buttigieg. They call me Mayor Pete. I'm a proud son of South Bend, Indiana, and I am running for President of the United States. The Army veteran and South Bend native is taking a big leap today by announcing his candidacy. Here today, thousands of people have joined together in support of the South Bend mayor in running for president. Pete Buttigieg has been mayor of South Bend since year 2012. He's a member of the Democratic Party and graduated from Harvard University in 2005. Buttigieg was a recipient of the John F. Kennedy New Frontier Fen Award in 2015. Although Buttigieg is a newcomer to Washington and only 37 years old, he sees this as an advantage. He spoke about planning for 2054, when he will be 72 years old, the current age of the President Donald Trump. I take that long view because I have to. I come from that generation that grew up with school shootings as the norm. The generation that produced the bulk of the troops in the post 9-11 conflicts. The generation that is going to be on the business end of climate change for as long as we live. Buttigieg says that the values that will guide his campaign and policy are freedom, security, and democracy. He plans to enact policies that guarantee not only freedom from, but also freedom to. Our conservative friends care about freedom, but they, they only make it part of the way. They only see freedom from. Freedom from taxes, freedom from regulation. As though government were the only thing that can make somebody unfree. The chance to live a life of your choosing, in keeping with your values. That is freedom in its richest sense. And we know that good government secures freedom just as much as bad government denies it. In terms of security, Buttigieg supports an immigration policy that allows a path to citizenship and believes that immigrants are not as dangerous as Trump's administration is currently making them out to be. The greatest nation in the world should have nothing to fear from children fleeing violence and even more importantly, even more importantly, Children fleeing violence ought to have nothing to fear from the greatest country in the world. Buttigieg also says that he wants to improve the functioning of our democracy, including making courts less political and working to fight gerrymandering. Because no issue we care about, from gun safety to immigration, from climate to education to paid family leave, none of it will be handled well unless our democracy is in better shape. It's not much of a republic if our districts are drawn so that politicians get to choose their voters instead of the other way around. Over 4,500 people were in attendance of the event and PNN was able to hear the opinions of Andy Rupchuk Schaefer and Ken Smith. How do you feel about his points on security and keeping people safe? I really, really resonate with what he said about climate security. Um, I believe the flooding events that have been happening here locally are a, chain, are a, uh, a sign of things to come. And when he talks about climate security, I feel like that is a unique way of phrasing it, and it's also applicable, and it's real. How do you feel about Pete Buttigieg running for president? Very exciting. He's uh, threw down some really wonderful challenges today. He said we don't need any more decades of a Democratic Party afraid of the spirit of Ronald Reagan. Those days are over, he said today, and I think if the Democratic Party can understand that and take it seriously, this might have been a very, very special day in American political life. By some estimates, Buttigieg is now in third place in early Democratic po primary polls. PNN will continue to bring you coverage of Buttigieg's 2020 run. Reporting for Jack Masaryk, Brendan King, and PNN, I'm Kenny Durrell.